Deep insight into tumor intrinsic signaling and immune biology continues to inform and inspire discoveries, enabling the development of novel therapies and combinations. Immuno-oncology, or IO, seeks to activate the body's natural immune response to fight cancer. Unlike other treatments that act on the tumor itself, IO uses the immune system to fight cancer. IO research is ongoing across a breadth of solid tumors and hematologic malignancies. IO is a fundamentally different way to fight cancer. IO therapies activate the immune response to overcome tumor survival and growth strategies. IO therapies research also seeks to target specific parts of the immune response, such as antigen presenting cells, T cells, and natural killer cells. Given that IO acts differently, the immune response may make the tumor appear larger, creating the appearance of disease progression. This is known as pseudoprogression. While uncommon, pseudoprogression is an important consideration when evaluating response to immuno-oncology therapies. IO therapies activate the immune response, which can enable the immune system to attack healthy cells along with tumor cells. These effects are known as immune-mediated adverse reactions. The link between immune activation and immune-mediated adverse reactions is an area of ongoing research. Exploring the relationship between immune activation and autoimmunity may provide a better understanding of immune-mediated adverse reactions. Some normal tissues may be affected by IO therapies. Some of these tissues are the skin, endocrine system, liver, gastrointestinal tract, nervous system, eyes, respiratory system, and hematopoietic cells. Patients, caregivers, and healthcare providers should be educated to remain vigilant during and after IO treatment to minimize complications. In addition, treatment algorithms are available for healthcare providers to assist with managing immune-mediated adverse reactions. Patients should be educated and encouraged to monitor for and report symptoms.